this is the feminine one, by the way. I'm going to do two pumps of foundation on the back of my hand. You may use more of this if you like. And I'm going to take a brush and then I'm going to apply it all over my face just so that it's evenly spread. Making sure that I'm blending even down to my neck. So now that my liquid foundation is all on, I'm going to take a sponge and I'm going to tap the sponge all over. And this is going to help. Get rid of the streaky, with the streaky lines from applying it with a brush, but the reason why you don't apply it directly to the sponge is so that you don't absorb the finished product into your sponge. Making sure to clean it up the rest as well. Okay. Next, take a powder. It can be setting powder, uh, it can be translucent, or it can match your skin tone. I'm using powdered foundation, it's just where I'm at. And I'm going to draw on my brush. I'm going to tap my brush and then I'm going to tap it on. No brushing because or else the liquid foundation will look all streaky and I don't like that. So this is just going to set everything in place so that it stays longer. Next, I'm going to take contour or bronzer, um, blush, and highlighter, and I'm going to take this brush, which is a little finer, and I'm going to put it into my bronzer. Tap it, and I'm going to suck in my cheeks. Just 
supposed to turn around like that. Making sure that I'm going underneath the cheekbone. And I take my fluffier brush. And you don't want to be shy with how much you're applying because this is also good, what's going to help you not look washed out on stage. Just going to apply some to your forehead or to your hairline. And your temples. You realize that she was getting so good to go. It does not need to be a horribly thick line. blend it out and then I'm going to now it's all blended out. I'm going to take the same brush get my blush and apply it make sure you're using lots of it And I like to put a little bit on my nose. And sometimes a little on my chin. And then I'm going to take my highlighter. on top of my cheekbone. Then I'm going to take a smaller brush, get a little highlighter, Put it at the end of my nose and along the bridge of my nose. Now I'm going to blend it out. Deeper. Yeah. Next, I'm going to do eye makeup. I'm using a palette with lots of neutrals. I'm gonna take this color on a fluffy brush. And I'm gonna put it on the corner and into the center of my eye. So closing my eye, raising my eyebrows, and pulling it up. Blending it inward. And making sure to be generous with the amount of product that I apply. Just so that it's nice and visible.
then I'm gonna take a thinner brush and I'm going to take this color I'm just gonna put it in the crease of my eyelid. Then I'm gonna go back to the fluffy brush and I'm gonna take this lighter color. I'm gonna put it over my eyelid. what the eye makeup is looking like so far. Then I'm going to take a thin brush, take this color, and run it underneath my eye. Now I'm going to take my liquid eyeliner. You can also use pencil. And you don't want to have like this huge ring. Just want it nice and small. And I rest my hand against the counter. To keep it a little more steady. Draw the ring first. And then Same for the other side. This is not my best liquid eyeliner, girl. <laughs> Also use pencil. Whatever it works for you. Then I'm going to take my eyebrow pencil and especially if you have lighter brows, just draw in your eyebrows. Make sure there's a lot of pigment in there so that your eyebrows are like actually visible. I brush my eyebrows up and kind of shake them out. Um, now I'm going to, you don't have to, I like to use an eyelash curler. Lashes. Plug your mascara.
it's the eye makeup done. And now I'm going to take my lipstick, my lip liner, lip liner is optional. Uh, try to go for a fairly like neutral um, shade, nothing too bright. This one's just a nice pink. Take your lipstick. Just don't question it, Dad. No. 